In my previous video, an introduction to assembly programming of the AT89S52 microcontroller was presented via a simple application. In this video, more assembly examples will be demonstrated outlining the I.O. capabilities of the microcontroller. In this first example, we have an active buzzer connected to port P10 and we have a push button connected to port P0.0 and we have two LEDs connected to ports P1.1 and P1.2. The circuit operates as follows. While the push button is unpressed, the red LED will be on and the blue LED will be off. We press and hold a button, the buzzer is triggered and the red LED will be off and the blue LED will be on. We release the button and the buzzer is off and the red LED will be on again and the blue will be off. And now for a quick demonstration. Let's have a look at the assembly code of the first example. We start with the directive origin where the program will start at memory address 00 hexadecimal. Then we check the status of the switch. If the switch is pressed then the value or the bit at port 0.0, .0 would be 0 and in this case this instruction jump no bit will be true and the program will jump to the subroutine at address buzzer. If the switch is not pressed then this instruction would be ignored and the program would go to the next instruction where the red LED will be turned on by executing the clear bit instruction and sending a logic 0 to port 1.1 and then set bit at port 1.2 which means that a logic 1 will be sent to this port and the blue LED will be off. Then the program will execute the short jump to label again and we have a loop while the button is not pressed. If we press the button then this uh, instruction would be executed and the program will jump to this uh, memory address for the subroutine named buzzer and the first thing we do here is to turn on the buzzer by sending a logic 0 to port 1.0 and then we turn off the red LED and then turn on the blue LED and then we check the status of the switch. If the switch is still pressed then the program will jump to label buzzer and we have a loop here where the buzzer is on and the blue LED is on while the switch is pressed. So when we release the push button then this instruction would be ignored and the program will jump to this next instruction where the buzzer will be turned off and then the program will execute the return instruction where the program will jump back to this instruction and the execution continues. In this second example we have an 8-bit DIP switch interface to the microcontroller through port 0 and pull-up resistors are provided by this 9-pin 10K resistor network. We also have a blue LED connected to port uh, P1.1 and a red LED connected to port uh, P1.2. The circuit operates as follows. Within the microcontroller and within the accumulator an 8-bit number is stored. If the input number from the DIP switch is equal to the number in the accumulator then the blue LED will turn on otherwise if the values are not equal the red LED will turn on. And now for a quick demonstration the value stored in the accumulator is 81 hexadecimal. This is the assembly code of the second example we start by setting port P0 as input and we do this by sending the value FF hexy value FF to port P0 using the move opcode. 
Next, we need to get the byte from port P0 and copy it into the accumulator of the microcontroller, again using the move instruction. Next, the instruction complement A is executed where the ones complement of A is determined. In other words, the bits of the byte in A are all flipped. The reason for this is because of the pull-up resistors at the input of port A. Next, this instruction is executed, which is compare, then jump if not equal, which means that this 8-bit uh, number data is compared to the byte in A. If the values are not equal, then the program will jump to this label. Otherwise, if the values are equal, this instruction will be ignored. If the byte at uh, port P0 is equal to the constant uh, 81 hexadecimal, then this instruction will be ignored, and the program will then uh, turn on the blue LED and then turn off the red LED, and then a small jump is executed where the program will jump to label equal and we have a loop where the blue LED will stay on while the values are equal. If the byte at port P0 is not equal to 81 then the program will jump to this label not equal where the blue LED will be turned off and the red LED will turn on. And then we get the byte again from uh, port uh, P0 and store it in the accumulator and flip the bits and then check again. If still the bytes are not equal then the program will jump to this label and we have a loop where the red LED will be on while the uh, bytes are not equal. Until the bytes are equal then this instruction will be ignored and then the program will return to the main routine. The final step is to generate the hexacode from the assembly code using KL IDE. Then load the code onto the microcontroller. Please watch my previous video to learn how to perform this operation. Thank you for watching.